really should be nicer to your sister. I could say the same to you. Are you, what's the point? Maya? Dragging this out will be nothing but boring for all of us. So just this once, I'm gonna let you win, dear sis. Ha! Why does it not surprise me that a loyalty bought with baubles should prove worthless? Ever so sorry, your majesty. I'm not usually one to turn down presents, as I'm sure you know. But our father always did so hate to see us fight. So you too are part of this filthy little conspiracy. Not that I care. If there is one more of you, all the more fuel for the fire. Stop! In the name of the High King! Mm -hmm. I beg you, do not let anger blind you to reason. Your Majesty, I am Desdemona, sworn Knight of Accordia. My companions and I came to your realm on the orders of the High King. Desdemona. Yes, I have seen you sniffing at his radiance's heels. So you are the famous lapdog. What a pleasure. Please, Your Majesty. Our intentions in coming here are pure. We mean neither to invade your kingdom nor to take your head. You must believe me. The King of Dunisi has been murdered. A sinister figure plots to incite the Seven Realms to war. We seek only to unmask them. The King of Dunisia? Murdered, you say? Well, that changes things. Tell me, this sinister figure whom you seek to unmask, could it be that you suspected me, perhaps? <laughs> Do not bother to deny it, my lady. You proved your guilt when you flung us in your dungeon. And your snow-white face cannot hide the blackness of your heart. Yeah, he's right. If you weren't the one behind all this, why did you lock us all up like that? And why were your guards all over us the well, moment you two we... hold on for just one second? Huh? If you shut up, maybe the Queen will explain. Mm. You want to know why I had you arrested? It was not for the reasons you seem to think. If you must know, the invasion, Tunisia's attack on harbour, came as no surprise. I had known about it for days. see into the future or something? Not I, but a visitor from the Beastlands. He came seeking an audience. He foretold the attack. Some few days hence, the Dunisians will launch a surprise attack on harbour. And then, soon after, a peace will be brokered. Huh. Hmm. Needless to say, I dismissed his words as the lies of a fear-mongering charlatan at first. But then, reports began to reach us. Reports of just what he had predicted coming to pass. He left us with the dubious gift of one final prophecy. That Junisia and Harbour, having made peace, would together seek the destruction of Ingenia. That's ridiculous! Now I see. When you heard that the Prince of Junisia was here, and with a band of warriors in tow, you thought he'd come to take your head, right? Which is why you had us arrested. Hmm. Forgive me. If what you have told me is indeed the truth, it would seem that I have allowed myself to be led down a questionable path. But then, who was this visitor from the Beastlands? And how could he possibly have known what was going to happen between Dunisia and Harbour? <laughs> what proof have we that anything Her Honoured Majesty has said is true? Forgive me, but I cannot accept her innocence just yet. I might say the same to you, my sweet. Very well. We will leave for Accordia right away. The High King will judge the truth of both our tales. But should it prove that neither of us is guilty of deception, I fear for the fate of the Seven Realms. Dark days may lie ahead for each and every one of us. We will go before his radiance. His judgment must be sought without delay.
interesting. If I understand correctly, then, a seer clad in black appeared in your realm, having journeyed from the Beastlands to deliver a warning. He told you that Dunisia would wage a brief war against Harbor, only for the two realms to then join forces and turn their combined armies against Ingenia. Hmm. I had heard rumors of some manner of black-robed seer roaming the Seven Realms. I had rather fancy there might be some truth to your tale. I had my doubts, of course. At first I thought his prophecy too fanciful to be true. But then everything came to pass, exactly as he had predicted. And so, I ordered my guards to be on the lookout for foreign invaders. Hmm. I see. But hang on, this man in black, whoever he is, how could he have known for sure that Harbin Dunisia would suddenly start fighting? Hmm. He couldn't. But what if, instead of foreseeing the war, which seems impossible, he orchestrated it? Perhaps he didn't predict the future at all. Perhaps he encouraged it to happen. Hmm. We cannot know for certain if this is the case. But I think it's safe to surmise that this war was indeed his doing. As for Ingenia's embroilment in the hostilities, I dare say the same is also true. But... Why would anyone do that? I don't know. Or care. All that matters to me is that this so-called prophet may know who killed my father. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps he even did it himself. Prince Cesar, I would ask you not to jump to conclusions. After all, there are still many things that we do not know. For the time being, Your Radiance, would you not agree that finding this man in black must be our first priority? Indeed. Lady Desdemona, pray take your young companions and journey to the Beastlands. You must visit all three realms, Alkazam, Kadava, and Claw, and speak with their respective monarchs. Perhaps they will know something of this seer. Sire. Forgive me, Your Radiance! <gasps> Lady Testimona! What is it? Has something happened? <sighs> yes, my lady. We have just received an urgent report. The armies of Alkazam have invaded the realms of Kadaver and Claw. They've taken over the whole of the Beastlands! <sighs> what, what's going on? is happening to our world. All right. 